In this session, we'll look at how to add titles and captions to an InfraWorks animation. Now, I've got InfraWorks open, and I'm currently working in a model that represents some proposed roadway improvements and a park site. In this model, I have also started setting up an animation. Let's take a look. We'll do that by clicking to open the Presentation menu, and then I'll click to open the Storyboard Creator. From here, I can view the current state of the animation by clicking this Play button at the top of the dialog box. While this plays through, let me mention that if you are interested in how I set up this animation, I have created a video that walks through the workflow. I will leave a link to that video in the description for this one. For right now, I'm going to click Stop to put things back to the beginning. At this point, I'd like to add some descriptive text to this animation. I'll do that by creating a title and some captions. We'll start by adding a title. To create the title, I'm going to click Add a New Title. When I do, watch this area of the storyboard. Note that we have a new item over here in the Captions and Titles row. These captions and titles operate just like the keyframes below. If they're selected, like this one is, we can see the red outline. We'll see its properties over to the right, as well as a play button that we can use to play that item. I'm going to click play, and we'll take a look. Perfect. Let me drag this up a little higher so we can see the settings. If we look down here, we can see the title is doing exactly what it says. It's fading in over one second. It's fading out over one second. It starts at the beginning of the animation, and it runs for a three-second duration. Down below, we can see the text editor. I'm going to drag across this text, and we'll change it. I'll type proposed roadway improvements and park site. Note that we have a standard font control, text height control. We have the traditional text formatting options and justification over here. Also note that titles allow us to have a background color. If I click this color property, we can set this to whatever color we want. Let's keep the default setting for right now, and I'll click Cancel. Let me also show you that if you don't want to use the background color, we can drag the transparency of the background up to 100%. Finally, I'm going to choose the Container tab. Here we can control where the text shows up on screen. By default, it's appearing at center center. Let me click to open this. You can see some of the other options. I'm going to stick with the default. Using the slider, I can control the transparency of the text itself. Down below, I can control the size of the text container as a percentage of the overall screen. I can also control the container's offset as a percentage of the screen. Let's stick with the current settings. I'll go back to the text tab, and then I'm going to drag this down, and we'll click play again. Notice the difference. Let's drag this back up. Let's do one more thing with the title. I'd like to increase its duration. We can do that by clicking the up arrow right here. I can also click, hold, and drag this out. If I click and hold on the title, I can also drag it back and forth along the timeline. Next, I'd like to create a caption. To do that, I'll come up and click the Caption button. I will then come over and drag this to where I want it to show up. Let's go to the Text tab, and I'll adjust its properties. I'm going to type Proposed Soccer Field and Playground. If we want to get a feel for what this caption looks like, I can double click to put the playhead over here, and then I can drag the playhead into the caption. Notice we can see the caption appears at the top center of the screen. Let's make an adjustment. I'm going to click to select that item, and then I'll go to the container tab. I'm going to put this in the top right for right now. I'll keep the remaining properties, and then I'm going to drag out the duration slightly. Finally, let's go back to the text tab. After seeing a caption, you may be wondering what is the difference between a caption and a title. Well, the caption does not have a background setting. Let's look at one more concept. After seeing this text editor, you may be wondering if there are any additional formatting options than what we see here in the dialog box. The answer is yes, there is, but we have to go at the editing a different way. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to click to create another caption. I will drag this one over. And then, because of my screen size, let me squish this down a little bit. I'll click and hold and drag out its duration. Let's drag this back. Rather than using the text editor, I can also format my text using HTML. I'm going to select that radio button, and then I will delete this existing text. Now, fortunately, I don't have to know how to write HTML code. If you have Microsoft Word, you can enter your text here and then simply save it as HTML. For example, I've got text here representing multiple fonts, different text heights, I've got several color options in here. I'd like to use this text as my caption. Let's make a couple more changes though. I don't want my text to be black. We'll make that white. So we'll drag over these and I'll change that color property. When I'm finished, I'll come up and choose File, Save As. 
I'm going to save this into my sample folder and we'll save it as HTML. I'll click Save. That's it. I can then minimize Word. Let's bring up Windows Explorer. We'll jump into that sample directory. I'll right click on the HTML and I'll choose Open with Notepad. When Notepad comes up, I'll click in here and I'll press Control A to select all of that code. I'll press Control C to copy it to my clipboard and then I can close these items. I will then click in the HTML editor and I'll press Control V to paste. Now, if I come over to the storyboard editor and double click, I can drag the playhead into the caption and you can see that formatted text on screen. Let's do one more thing. I'm going to center it. I'll do that by selecting the item. We'll go to the container tab and we'll set that to center center. Now that I'm finished, we'll drag this back to the beginning. I'll double click to put the playhead back to the start. Let's drag this off screen and I'll click play one more time. It's been said that a picture is worth a thousand words. If that's true, then an animation is worth 1,000 words multiplied by the number of frames per second. Knowing that, just imagine how much more value is added by putting words on top of an animation. So the next time you are creating an animation from an InfraWorks model, try experimenting with the title and caption feature within the storyboard editor. With a little practice, you can take your animations to an entirely new level. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.